Dr. Tony Evans, his precious wife, Lois, would come to the board meetings. I learned the depth and the strength. Lois's memory and her family and their children is an outgrowth of the ministry. Victory belongs to Jesus. When she passed, the word of the Lord went out in a powerful way all across the country and around the world through social media. Everybody was praying, not only in Dallas, but around the country and around the world. And as I was wrestling with God, he answered, you don't understand the nature of my victory. Heroine of the faith in honor of Lois Irene Evans with our love and appreciation. Her footprints are all over my life, my family, our church, and our ministry. There would be no Tony Evans or Urban Alternative if there were not a Lois Evans. Thank you, and God bless you. That there was always only two answers to your prayers. Either she was going to be healed or she was going to be healed. Either she was going to live or she was going to live. Either she was going to be with family or she was going to be with family. Either she was going to be well taken care of or she was going to be well taken care of. Victory belongs to me. Jonathan reminded us that his mom was really speaking to us at the start of this convention. When a giant steps out of a room, you note the absence. We can let this dear family know they're so powerfully involved in expanding the kingdom. So I would like to call the Evanses up. So we created an award in remembrance of Dr. Lois Irene Evans. NRB will forever be impacted by the grace-filled wisdom this precious woman of God brought in her service to the board of directors of the National Religious Broadcasters. We love you so much. Whatever impact God allows our ministry through your vehicles to have to your audience, remember behind it all, smiling in heaven, is Lois Evans. Thank you and God bless you.